Champion of IFAS is someone who supports all of our missions, teaching, research, and extension, and generally someone who has been doing that for a long time and has had a significant impact on the organization. There's probably no one over a 60-year career who has done as much for IFAS as has Dr. Smith done. IFAS has really opened up the world to me. When I came to Gainesville to go to college, I'd traveled the furthest I'd ever been away from home. But during my career with IFAS, it allowed me to travel throughout the world. It's opened up many opportunities for me to grow professionally, to grow scientifically, to grow academically. So I feel an obligation to give back for all the value they've added to my life. Wayne has a long history with IFAS. He's a graduate of the college, came back as a faculty member, served as director of what is now the School of Forest, Fisheries, and Geomatic Sciences. He's had a number of jobs where he is in an acting role. When someone stepped down, he stepped up. He's worked with students, he's worked in research, he's been very involved with extension. Two things stand out to me about Wayne, and in fact, his wife Mitzi as well. They're very generous and they're selfless. They are true givers. Wayne and Mitzi are very much engaged in the larger IFAS community. It is part of their DNA to give back. He has been very active, very engaged in uh, helping us with projects such as constructing the Stern Learning Center here at Austin Carey Forest. Dr. Smith came from a relatively small community. He didn't see that he would have a lot of opportunities growing up, but he came to the University of Florida where that all changed. He was one of those individuals who looked for those doors. He found them and he kicked them open or he gently opened them up, but he went through many of them. So one of the important parts of Wayne's legacy is creating our ceremonial mace. He was the one who got this whole project started. The university celebrated its sesquicentennial in 2003, and one of the things they did was create a university mace. Well, the spring after that, Wayne as interim dean was responsible for organizing our college commencement ceremony. And Wayne wanted to use the university mace. Well, it's only for university functions. I thought about that and then said, well, the hell with him. We'll make our own mace. So I conferred with some, one of my faculty colleagues and a technician from the Agricultural and Biological Engineering Department, and we set out to design one. The mace is really meaningful to CALS because of the way it showcases our history as a college, but also showcases the natural resources of the state of Florida. They used woods that represented different parts of the state of Florida, and then also a block of wood at the very top that was from one of the original buildings on campus. To me, it showcases what we're all about. I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank Wayne and Mitzi for the many, many ways that they have contributed to the school and to IFAS down through the years. They've made a lasting and an indelible impression on our school and on IFAS, and I want to congratulate Wayne uh, for this award, which he so richly deserves. <laughs>